Hi mga palanga! Monday na naman, July 13, 2020. And we have to redo this intro sa aton nga vlog for today because last night we received a confirmation coming from our municipal mayor that we already have COVID positive cases sa amun banwa sa New Lucena. So we would like to tell everybody, ang amun nga mga kasimanwa, that our love, prayers, and support are with you. And let us always remember that God is with us and Mama Mary's mantle of protection is amongst us in these trying times. Let us do our part as responsible citizens by always be vigilant. Kag permi mag suksok sang mask and make sure that we are safe at all times. Now going back to the vlog, let us celebrate because we hit our milestone for today. We now have 800 solid subscribers! So thank you so much everybody for supporting Bangs and Bags since day one. And if you have not yet subscribed please click the subscribe button and please click the notification bell so that you will be notified of our new episodes every time meantime ang aton nga episode for today continuation sang aton nga finance episode for the month of July and for this episode I would just like to encourage everybody to get your calculators notebooks paper and pen because banks will dig deeper into the law of compounding interest let's try to see kung ano bala ang rule of 72 ni Albert Einstein so banks ang ako niya pamangkot sa imo if i invest my money in any financial vehicles saan ako expect nga madoble ang value sang ako ng kwarta Now that is a very good concern no? with regards to the rule of 72. By the way, the rule of 72 is an invention or a discovery of... Uh, I just don't know if you know my friend. Si Pari Albert. Albert Einstein. He <laughs> called it as the law of compounding interest. Law of compounding interest is very essential or very important in relation to our discussion of wealth creation. Okay? So, going back to the compounding interest formula of Albert Einstein, 72 divided by I equals to the number of the years for that money to double. Okay? Going back to the interest rates, no? Ng mga savings account. Ang interest rates ngayon ng savings account is 0.25. May calculator ako para magbulig sa akong sa computer, no? 72 divided by 0.25 equals to 288. Okay. Now, sa nagpamangkot sa aton, for example, kung si Juan de la Cruz, no? Na 24 years old. Okay? May 10,000. Okay? Saan o ini siya mag-20,000? Based on this formula of Albert Einstein, that 72 is constant divided by I, which is 0.25, equals to the number of years for that money to double. Congratulations sa Mandela Cruz. Because, after 288 years, <laughs> ang 10,000 ni Juan de la Cruz, no? at age 312, <laughs> si Juan de la Cruz, mind you people, my 20,000. Ang ining 0.25% point, per annum, no? Na interest rates, wala ko pagin compute dari ang withholding tax, which is 20% of the 0.25. Wala ko pagin factor in ang inflation rate. Okay? So meaning, mas magnubo pagin din siya sa 20,000 sa idad ni Juan de la Cruz na 312 years old. Now, going back. It clearly states, for example, wala na ako nag-savings, nag-time deposit na ako banks. Okay. Granting for the sake of discussion, pagpalagay, bigyan natin siya ng 4%. So, 72 divided by 4 equals to 18. 
Wait a minute mga palangga! Isalot ko lang ang amon nga shout out for today! We would like to say hi to all members of Kappa Phi Sigma Fraternity or Kaogyon from all over the world. Hello to Armstrong Tingson and family, Halin sa Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, Toto George Borja, Halin sa Cavite. Thank you so much for supporting Bangs and Bags and we hope you are safe wherever you are. Ang sample palagi natin is Juan de la Cruz. No? Si Juan de la Cruz is halimbawa, time deposit, may 100,000. Okay? Tapos, ang edad niya is 24. Okay? 24 years old. So, 72 divided by 4 equals to 18. Meaning, 24 plus 18 equals to yeah, 42. So, 200,000. Okay? Because, it will double every 18 years at 4% per annum. Pagpalagay natin, hindi pa retire si Juan yan. No? Kasi ang gusto ni Juan, ang 100,000 niya in a time deposit, gamitin niya no? sa IA retirement. Pagpalagay natin another 18. 0, 0, 1, 60. Okay. 400. Why 400? Kasi the formula of compounding interest, the money will double every 18 years kung isunod mo sa 4% per annum na interest rate. Okay? So, tamantama na to Sabi ni Juan, ah, okay. 60 na ako. Kung sa gobyerno si Juan, optional retirement na to. Okay? What do you think? Pagpalagay kaya ni Banko, 100,000 ni Juan sa gold, and then after 36 years at age 60 ni Juan, buksan niya ang gold, ay, ang 100,000 ni Juan naging 400 na. Hindi ganun, of course. Huh? Bank will find an investment vehicle na magbibigay sa kanya ng interest that after 36 years sa promise niya upon the retirement age of one, may may ibigay siya na 400. So, the bank will put 100,000 of one in an investment vehicle, for example, 72, pagpalagay natin, 12%. Okay? Na investment vehicle, minimum. So, it will double every six years. Now, tanong, banks, meron bang mga investment vehicle na nagbibigay ng 12% per annum? Of course, napakarami. Mutual funds, stocks, even a blue chips company, no? In the Philippines, in the Philippine Stock Exchange, no? You will never be categorized as a blue chips, blue chips company if in good times and in bad times, in three to four, three to five years, I guess, your rate of return, or yeah, your rate of return will be less than fifteen percent. My computation is only twelve. Pera ni Juan, nilipat lang ni Banco sa isang vehicle just like stocks, that yields 12%. 72 divided by 12 is 6, meaning, ang money ni Juan na sarili niyang pera, it will double every 6 years in a 12% investment vehicle. Okay. Pagpalagay natin, plus 6. So this would be 30. So ang 100 ni Juan, na nilipat ni Pank, naging 200. After another 6, Ang 200 ni Juan naging 400. 36 years old na si Juan. Plus 6, 42. So, 800,000 na yun. Kasi it will double every 6 years. Plus 6, 48 na ito. May 1.6 million na. Okay? Ano? Retire na ba si Juan dito? Of course not. 48 pa lang siya. Plus 6. So, meaning, this is 54. So, 3.2 million na ito. That's it. That's it. Because it will double. Plus 6, 60. This is 6.4 million. Okay. Here's the thing. Okay. Sino to? Ang 24 na to. 24 years old. That is the, that is the time when one realized na kailangan niya mag-invest sa kanyang retirement. Kaya pumunta siya kay bank. This is one. Kalinong pera to? This is who wants 100,000. Okay. Pero, ang kanyang investment vehicle is time deposit kasi after 36 years at the age 16, mag-optional retirement na siya sa kanyang trabaho, 
bank will give one four hundred. Okay? But after na tumalikod si one nilagay ni bank in an investment vehicle that yields twelve percent per annum that doubles every six years, meaning ang pera ngayon is six point four. Sino to? Sixty years old. Si one parin yun. So at the age sixty, babalik si one kay bank. Bibigyan siya ni bank ng four hundred. Pero ang yield ni bank six point four million. What is the difference? The difference is six million. Now, isang tao pa lang yan. Si Juan pa lang. There are 108 million people in the Philippines right now. Okay? And ang pinag-usapan natin is only 100,000. How about if this is 1 million? So this would be 64 million for that matter. Now, ganun. And if you think that this episode not worth your time, try ignorance. Because 6 million is the price of financial ignorance. There you have it. I hope you learned a lot sa discussion ni Banks on the rule of 72 or the rule of compounding interest because that was one of the topics ng gintudlo yung sakon pag pangasawa na igidyan namon. So if you can see, I am wearing our proud Filipino farmer t-shirt. So we will be giving this away to some of our lucky subscribers very, very soon. So proud Filipino farmer. There you go. Thank you so much for being with us again this Monday morning. We will see you again next Monday, mga palanga. Bye!